Hello, good evening, Maris. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Very, You're... very wet. Yes, Maris. So it, it's so weird how it rained, right? Yeah, very. Suddenly, yes, suddenly okay. it started raining and, and it was really like weird because, I mean, it was really sunny, a lot of hot, right? And then it rained. Yeah. yeah. And a lot. It, the traffic is terrible. 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 I know. Very terrible. So, yes, let's see if we have um all of you in class, right? But I think yeah. that no, because um actually, I think that some people do not have electricity. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, for, for me, in my internet yes. is very slow. I have a problem. Yes. Yes, yes. I know. I know. All right, so well, let's see if, if they connect, right? So, and what about your day, Maurice? How was it? Yeah, yeah very, very good, very was, good. Okay. Very good. Was it relaxing or really tiring? Uh, relaxing. Relaxing, okay, yeah. that is good. Okay, so Maurice. Uh, tom tomorrow, more relaxing. Yes, and are you going to go out? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no. Uh, in my, You're in my going home. to stay at home. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, Maris. I'm glad that you actually are okay and that you had a really mm, relaxing day. Okay. Okay. So, uh, good evening, Tony. How good are evening, you, Tony? Teacher. Very, very good. Thank you. And you? Yes, we are we are okay. We were talking with Maris about uh, the rain, right? So oh, it was, okay. yeah, it was raining here, but stopped about uh, twenty minutes. Yeah, but it's raining hard because I come from from El Congo. Oh my uh, God, Tony! Um, we have uh, uh, thirty minutes of rain, and uh, in, in a few minutes. Um, uh, the rain was so hard, mm -hmm. and the lightings and thunders are, are so closer. Uh, maybe in, uh, I think that is in the Santa Santissima Trinidad. Maybe is by, by the view that I catch. Mm -hmm. um, uh, as well, uh, is a is a um, a good opportunity to to increase the the traffic in all uh, the periferia of, of San Salvador, La Integración 1 and the, and Integración 2, it was totally full. But um, how do you say when you, you um, uh, como acostumbrado? Uh, I'm, I'm used to it. Please repeat. I am used to it. Hey, it's used to it. The traffic in San Salvador is oh. very hard. The, the Friday is especially. Yes, and and I have seen different videos on Twitter, right? That there are many. Uh, well, there there are people that are without electricity. Yeah, really weird we were talking with uh maris about the the rain right so and how it started like suddenly it started mm -hmm. suddenly right but we have an alert of one uh, um, tropical tropical wave uh, maybe it's no it's on on the tropical uh tropical i think that it, we can say a storm a tropical storm um, that okay. is coming from the from the um, east to the mm -hmm. to the west. Oh my God! Really? I haven't heard about it for this weekend. Yeah, even today, mm -hmm. and they continue uh, one day more. Uh, oh, Saturday! All the day of tomorrow. Okay. Um, I hope that um, it rains, but not that much, and that the weather is kind of, you know, cool, right? Not that hot, right? 
Okay, so good evening, Atilio. I saw that you are driving, okay? Don't worry. Thank you. Yes. yes. All right. Okay, uh, so good evening. Uh, yes, don't worry. Okay, good evening, Luis Miguel, Jose, Emerson. Um. So, guys, we are going to good start. Evening, with today. Good evening. So, we're going to start with today's class. And today, we're, we're, we're going to have something very, like, easy, guys. It's not difficult, okay? So, um, we are going to start with today's agenda. So, we have the warm-up. Then we are going to move to the topic, which is future in the past. Yes, I don't know if you have heard about this topic before, but it's going to be future in the past. Um, we also have listening quizzes and we have uh, a grammar quiz. If the time allows, we also have a speaking time. Okay, so we are going to practice speaking as well. And well, as a warm up, we are going to start with a tongue twister. Yeah. So the tongue twister for today goes like this. Ray Rack ran across a rough road. Across a rough road, Ray Rack ran. Where is the rough road Ray Rack ran across? This one is for you to practice the letter R. R. Yes. Yeah? So Ray Rack ran across a rough road road across a rough road ray rack ran where is the rough road ray rack ran across yeah r sound the r mm -hmm. okay volunteer <laughs> kind of difficult right um do we have some volunteers Yes, thank you, Maurice. Go. Okay. Ray Ralph ran across a road, road. Across a road, road. Ray Ralph ran. Where is the road, road? Ray ran, ran across. Okay. Good, Maurice. Um, just the observation. This one is rough. Rough. Yes, rough okay. with F. Rough. Okay. Yeah. Close. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Close. All right. Got it, Tony. Uh -huh. Okay. Another volunteer to say it. Uh -huh. So I'm going to pick one. Okay. So, um, well, first, uh, Tony, and then please, Luis Miguel. Ray Rack ran across a road, road, across a road, road, Ray Rack ran. Where is the road, road, Ray Rack ran across? Across. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay, listen. Ray, yeah. Ray Rack ran, sorry, Ray Rack, Rack ran across a round road, across a road, road. Ray Rack Run. Where is the road road Ray Rack Run across? Okay. Mm. okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. So, so Luis Miguel, okay? Sorry. All right. Okay, volunteer. We and have a story for you. We climbed this the uh, Santana volcano today. Oh really? Yeah, we are tired. <laughs> Oh my God, Tony, is that true? Too. Yes, I tell you too. And I don't climb the Santana volcano, but I play all the morning uh, paintball. It's, <laughs> it's a beauty and horrible experience. Okay. Um, beautiful. <laughs> okay, beautiful, Atelier. Okay, <laughs> it's retiring, right? Yes, I remember I actually climbed yeah. that volcano once, but on that day I got sick. <laughs> yes, maybe, maybe the half of the all the personnel of, uh, uh, of my team mm -hmm. uh, is, uh, is going to be bad tomorrow. <laughs> yes, Tony, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, but that, that is something nice, right? So you enjoy and you share it. That's good. 
Okay, so Mayra, are you there? Yes, good evening. Good evening. Can you please say the tongue twister? I try. Uh, right rug ran across a wrong road. Across a rope road, right rang rang. Yes. What is the rope road? Right rug ran across. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. So in this case, um, this is a tongue twister just for you to practice the R sound, guys. Okay. Try to practice it. Yes. Uh, do you have any question? No? Okay, let's continue, guys. And now I need two volunteers, okay? You are going to speak for one minute. So the first volunteer is going to create this. She is Pamela. What did Pamela do yesterday? You need to tell us what did Pamela do yesterday in one minute. You need to speak for one minute. And the second volunteer is going to talk about Sophia. So she is Sophia. And what did Sophia do yesterday? Look at the, at the, at the image, right? So you can see okay. maybe their professions, right? You can imagine, all right? Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I need two volunteers. Hey, teacher. Okay, Maris, you go first with Pamela. And the second volunteer? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to choose somebody. Okay, so the second volunteer, please. Um, let me see, Carla Sofia, are you there? Yes. Okay, very good. Carla, you, okay, with Sofia. Yes. Okay, but first, Maris, for one minute, Maris, okay? Okay. All right, go. Uh, what did Pamela do yesterday? Mm -hmm. Pamela started to study and make a report mm -hmm. for her work. Okay. The report is for her work and that her boss. Okay. Ask her to study. Okay. Uh, study. Study. Um, to do well in the exam. Okay. And finish her degree. And and she she was. Very happy because uh, need need a new work. Okay, because she needed a new needed job. New new job. Job. Okay. okay. Yeah. Very good, Maris. The only observation that I that I have right now is with the preposition on her exam or on the exam. Um, on the exam, on the exam. Uh -huh. yes, not in, on. Uh, okay? Okay. On. okay. Very good. On. Thank you, Maurice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Carla Sofia? Okay. Uh, what did Sofia do yesterday? Uh, Sofia went to a mall mm -hmm. and she, uh, she won, wanted it. Buy something. If she wanted to buy something, buy something. Mm -hmm. um, and she saw a beautiful air, earring. Oh, okay. 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 She saw a beautiful earring. Okay. And she bought, but uh, the earring. Had, the earring. The earring had expensive. Oh, the uh, earring was expensive. Was exp expensive, uh -huh. but she don't care. She doesn't care. She didn't. <laughs> she didn't care uh -huh. because she uh, she had many money. <laughs> she had many money. 
Uh, mm, many or no. much money? A lot. Much money. A lot of money. Ah, a lot of money. Okay, a lot of money. money. Mm -hmm. Simple past. Okay, simple past. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. So just simple past, okay? Don't forget about simple past. Okay, I I need two, well, no, one volunteer. Yes, only one volunteer. What are you going to do? Well, you are going to describe what are they doing and you are going to compare, yes, both activities. And you will uh, speak for one minute. Okay, a volunteer? No? Okay, I'm going to choose um, song. Okay, so is uh, Carlos Vladimir here? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, can you please describe and compare the two people? Okay. All right. The girl is uh, listening to the music and dancing because it's very happy. Well, uh, is very happy mm -hmm. in your free time. Oh, in her free time. In her free time. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, mm -hmm. The boy is drinking a cup of coffee and read a book. Okay. So love to read a uh, terror books. Okay. He is very happy because he is like to read. He likes to read, okay. What else? Um, I don't know, teacher. Uh, uh, the two the, the people are very happy because he is enjoy your free time. Oh, free okay. Time. Be yes, because they are enjoying they are enjoying their free time. Their free time. Their mm -hmm. their free time. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, observations when it comes to the present continuous. She is listening to music. He is reading with the ing. Okay. ING. Very good. All right. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right, guys. Now let's move and let's um, start with this short reading. Okay. So, and this is a conversation, guys. So, I need two volunteers. One is going to be the security guard, and the other one is going to be the young girl. Okay. So, Emerson, can you please be the security guard? Are you there? Hello, me. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So, Emerson, can you please be the security guard? And let me see. Um, Nelly, are you there? Yes. Okay. Be the young girl. Okay. Go, Emerson. Hey, you. Stop. What? I saw you putting something in your back. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. It's just some glasses. I was going to pay for them. I'm afraid you'll have to come with me. Look, I was going to see what they look at like in daylight, and then I was going to take them to the cashier. I wasn't going to steal them. If that's what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you say you were going to do. You were supposed to pay for them before. You left the store. Come on, you'll have to speak to the manager. Okay, thank you, All right? So first of all, let's focus on pronunciation. Remember, this one is going to be sunglasses and we also have the ED ending, which is looked with T, yes? So basically guys, as you may see right here on this conversation, what we have, 
is those type of sentences, okay? Look at this. I was going to see what they looked like in daylight, right? I was going to take them to the cashier. I wasn't going to steal them, okay? Um, I don't care what you say you were going to do, yes? So as you can see, those type of sentences are basically the future in the past, yes? So that one is a tense, yes, in English. So when do we use the future in the past? The future in the past is used to refer to something that was the future at some time in the past. It doesn't matter if the future event happened or not, as it was thought to be the future at that time. So future in the past, it is about something that was going to happen in the past. It doesn't matter if it happened or no. And it is really simple, okay? Um, as you can see right here, we have some examples. Uh, Tony, can you please help us reading all of them? Teacher, sorry, I have a call. Uh, give me oh. a few minutes, excuse me, excuse me. Don't worry, thank you. Okay. All right, so Emerson. Okay, future in the past. I was going to work out, but I decided to watch instead. We were going to book our flight, but the website was down. Uh -huh. Weren't we going to eat out today? Yes, but I forget. He was going to phone yesterday, but he ran out of time. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, I was going to work out, but I decided to watch TV instead. What is the meaning of instead? Instead means in lugar de. Yes. We were going to book our flights, but the website was down. Were we going to eat out today? Yes, but I forgot. He was going to phone yesterday, but he ran out of time. So as you can see right here, we have future in the past, right here, and we also have but, yes, and we have the simple past. It is not mandatory that we use the simple past, but in this case, we are giving a reason why we didn't do this. I was going to work out means yo iba a hacer ejercicio. Yes, something that you were going to do. A lo que usted iba a hacer en el pasado y no lo hizo. Yes. Let's take a look at more examples. Yes. Um, now, I was going to work out, but I decided to watch TV instead. But look at number two. This one is the same. But look at number two. The website was down when we were going to book our flights. So we can also use when. Yes. The website was down when we were going to book our flights. So that means el website estaba, uh, básicamente no funcionaba. Okay. Yes. El website no funcionaba. Uh, cuando nosotros íbamos a book our flights. I forgot you were planning to visit. He was going to phone yesterday, but he ran out of time. Well, it, this one is the same as the previous one. But as you can see, we can also use when. 
Yeah. But the most common structure is going to be this one with but. So now let's talk about how do we make future in the past? And we are going to go one by one, positive sentences, negative sentences, and questions. Thank you, Tony. All right. So we are going to go one by one, but you will see that this is so simple, guys. So uh, Tony, help us reading positive sentences, everything. Okay. Yeah. Positive sentence. Subject plus was going to, were going to, plus verb in base form, plus complement. Examples. I was going to each kitchen, but I ate pizza. Mm -hmm. He was going to call you, but they ran out of international news. But he ran out of the international news. They were going to go on vacation, but a global pandemic started. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So with the positive sentences, we have the subject was going to or were going to. It depends on the subject, guys. Because we use, remember, we use was with I, he, she, and it, and where with you, we, and they. Okay. So we have I was going to eat chicken, but I ate pizza. He was going to call you, but he ran out of international minutes. They were going to go on vacations. But a global pandemic has started. Yeah. So in this case, as you can see, we use going to, but since it is called future in the past, we use was and where plus going to. I never can Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is called future in the past. That is the name of this tense, okay? Now, um, let's move to negative sentences, which is basically um, the auxiliary verb in negative. Wasn't going to and weren't going to. Yeah? Peter, can yes. you help me to translate by a correct way the three sentences previous? This I was one. going to eat kitchen. Yo, fui, yo iba a comer pollo, pero comí pizza. Correct. Como lo debo entender. Okay. Sí. Yo iba a llamarte, pero... Ah, no. Él iba, él iba a llamarte. Pero... Pero él corrió o salió. Oh, no. In this case, eh, this one is a phrasal verb. Quedarse ah. sin. Ah, ran out of. Sí, es que ahí me había trabado y no entendía cómo, cómo traducirlo. Ah, sí, eso es un él, brufrasal. Él, él iba a llamarte, pero él se quedó sin minutos internacionales. Correcto. La manera de decir se quedó es he, but he eh, didn't have international meaning. Correct. Ok. Uh -huh. And the third one, they were going to go on vacation. Ellos iban a ir de vacaciones, uh -huh. pero la pandemia global comenzó. Correct. Okay, okay, thank uh -huh. you. Very good. All right. So you see it's so simple, right? It's, it's so simple. Now with the negative, is the same, but in negative, right? Yeah. I wasn't going to eat chicken, but I ate uh, pizza. I mean, this is just for you to, to get the idea with the negative. Yeah. In this case, yo no iba a, a ir a la playa, pero al final sí fui. Yeah. So I wasn't going to go to the beach, but at the end I went. Simple past, guys. Yeah. It is just simple past. And we have the negative. Yet yo no iba a hacer algo. Él no iba a hacer algo. Nosotros no íbamos. Right? Nosotros no íbamos a estudiar inglés, 
pero tuvimos que. We were not, we weren't going to study English, but we have to. Pero tuvimos que. Okay. Now, with the questions, guys, it's the same. I mean, with the structure, we start with was and were, subject going to, verb in base form, and complete. Was I going to send the report? Was he going to send the report? Were we going to have a meeting? Iba yo a mandar el reporte. Iba él a mandar el reporte. Íbamos nosotros a tener una reunión. Yes, but most of the time, what we use guys is going to be positive sentences. Most of the time it's just positive sentences or negative sentences. But questions, it is not that common, but you may use them as well. For example, no ibas a ir al concierto. Cuando dice, no ibas a ir al concierto. ¿Cómo lo puede decir? ¿Cómo le puede preguntar eso a alguien? No ibas a ir al concierto. <laughs> or uh, ibas a ir al concierto? No, pero uh -huh. Were you going to go to the concert? Okay. Were you going to go to the concert? ¿Ibas a ir al concierto? Okay. Y ahora para decir no ibas a ir al concierto. Wearing you. Wearing you. Yes, guys. We can use um, negative questions, right? And we use the negative auxiliary. Yeah. All right. Do you have questions? Do you have doubts? Hmm. Um, this teacher, this is a not usual form to express or to make sentence. It isn't uh, is like an optional way to 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 talk. It's is not not common. It's not usual or is usual really? Yes, because it is. I, I, it is, but um, for example, okay, it is not that common i mean it is usual but not that much but it is it is useful because for example you wake up and you see that your wife cooked a different meal right and you say for example eh, bueno y no íbamos a comer carne <laughs> so ese no íbamos a o íbamos a es el futuro en el pasado, así se le conoce en inglés, aunque es el pasado. Well, we wasn't going to eat meat me. uh, in, in we, this case, okay. Uh -huh. Weren't we? Uh -huh. Weren't, ah, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. We uh -huh. weren't going to, uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. thank, you, thank you. Exactly. Uh -huh. we, we use, we use this uh, tense, we use it, but it's not that often, right? But we use this um, type of tense. Um, uh -huh. We also have this, uh, this question. <laughs> ¿Qué iba a hacer? ¿Qué iba a hacer? Futuro en el pasado. ¿Qué iba a hacer? Dice uno. Y se pone a pensar. Uh -huh. Sería, what was I going to do? ¿Qué iba a hacer? What was I going? Yes, to or do. Or what, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Was I, uh -huh. What was I going to do? 
Yeah. Um, yes, that is actually the, the correct way to interpret that in English, right? As well, so, we can use the WH question with this, um, with, with this um, form. Tense. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. You can use um, WH questions, right? Donde ibas a ir? ¿Qué ibas a hacer? Eh, ¿Cuándo ibas a ir? Yes. WH questions, right? When, uh, where, what, any WH question that we have. We can use WH questions. So you see, we use this tense, but sometimes, um, you know, this tense, I don't know why, but it's difficult sometimes for, for um, I, don't, I would say covering. I don't know why, but yes. Sometimes people do not cover this tense, but it is important. Um, okay, do you have any other question, guys? Something that is not clear? Okay. No, teacher, no. All right, perfect. Now let's move. All right, let's move and now it is your turn. Okay, so what you need to do is you have two options, okay? You can rewrite the sentences with their correct part, meaning you are going to choose number one if it goes with letter F. You need to make sense, okay? Or you can use probably um, use your PDF, right, um, tool, and you can use maybe point out, which is the correct part for each one, or you can rewrite them. Whatever option you want is okay. You can rewrite the sentence or you can use your tool right there and use a point out, which is the correct part for each one, yeah? Like this, right? like that, yeah? Or if not, you rewrite the sentence. Then once you finish with this, future in the past, what we're going to do is that you are going to answer the questions and you are going to provide an excuse using future in the past. For example, did you see that football last night? I was going to watch it, but I fell asleep right after dinner. Future in the past. Did John apply for that job he was interested in? Invent an excuse. He was going to apply, but what happened? And so on with all of them. Okay. So we are going to work on those two. Do you have any question? Any doubt? No? Okay. Let's uh, move and we are going to work on these guys. Yes. Okay. We... 
¿Dónde estará? La... Aquí. No. Este es. Eh... The what if with effort. I was going to the ring you just in the evening. Ryan, you just. <laughs> what is trying? <laughs> ring. Which one, Carl? The second ring. Ring you. Ah, oh. uh, like. Uh -huh. It's like saying no. calling, calling. Uh -huh. uh, but uh... mm -hmm. no. letter H, but I didn't I didn't have any coin. Okay. Mm. Oh, but then I fell asleep on mm -hmm. the soap. Maybe. Because <laughs> uh, I seen the telephones. Mm -hmm. The telephone doesn't exist. Or mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I was to go. I was going to withdraw some money. But I lost my credit bank card. Let it be. Okay. I was going to be with the number three. I I was go going to withdraw some money. Number three. Ah, cierto. Sí. What, which? <laughs> Let it be, I lost my bank card. Mm -hmm. I don't have any. Ah, maybe any he was going to make a ring. Maybe, but I, didn't. but I didn't have any coins. Yes. Okay. I agree with you. Number three, I think, is the little B. Little B. I was going to withdraw some money. Como yes. sacar dinero, ¿verdad? But, but I, I lost, lost my bank card. My bank card. My bank card. Okay. Yes, it makes sense. Letter four. I was going to quit my job. Yo iba como a renunciar de mi trabajo. Number three. I was going to withdraw some money. Which. Uh, can I withdraw? It's like saying sacar. Uh -huh. Withdraw some money. Sacar dinero. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Number four. I was going to quit my job. Uh -huh. mm. 
Okay. I think maybe letter D or letter I. Letter E. But at then there was a strike. I wasn't going to quit my job. No. Yes. <laughs> I think the number five is the little G. Number five. I was going to buy a new high tech watch. But uh -huh. then I saw the price. <laughs> so expensive, right? I was going to visit my aunt in New Zealand, but maybe la your eye. Para variar. Pero ahí es como, but then there was a strike, como que se accidentó. No, a strike is like a, um, una huelga, yeah. un paro. Como well, uh -huh. Teacher, how do you translate? But uh, uh, I was going to take a bus to work for a change. Yo iba a tomar el bus para el trabajo por un cambio. Uh -huh. Para cambiar. No, para variar. Ah, para, para variar. Ah, ya. Yeah, okay. Ajá, 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 ajá. Eh, but then it was so difficult. Maybe it's, but then I realized it was too difficult. Okay. Or it's it's possible to, but the then there was a strike. Piano is possible to let it eight. Letter A. Yes. But then there was ellos. Pero mm -hmm. después, ahí so, uh, hubo un, una huelga. But then no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, I was here in le, le, number nine. I think is is difficult. I was to learn. The number to nine learn. or number seven? No, if you say the it's difficult to to take a bus, but oh, the number seven. Yes, but for me it's a strike. For e or for okay, let me let yeah, okay. me uh, yeah, okay. write another. Eh, tomar un bus era difícil, pero creo que esa le corresponde cuando habla de tomar lecciones de play, de piano. Number A, este letter A. And I was going to quit my job, but then there was strike. But then there was a strike. Ah, hubo una huelga. Ah. Ajá. Strike Ajá. es huelga o paro. Yes, huelga okay. o paro. Number, number seven. Number seven. I was going to take a bus. Or uh, or the yeah. bus. Okay. Is, um... Is... 
Sí, va a tomar. Ay, the number A, I Otra think vez. is number J, eh, letter J. <laughs> no, letter A. Ah, uh, I said I was going to watch the late movie last night, but then I fall asleep in the sofa. When it, but when the seven, but I I can relation the the strike with with the whole sentence. Strike. Number. Falta. I was going to watch the last two. Three. I think this is. Y es el lado. I, I, I was going to learn to play piano last year. You aprendí yeah, a tocar piano el año pasado. Falta una. Yeah. Son diez. As one learned to play last year. Uh, equal five. Six, six is twelve okay. twice. Oh. Okay. And by about the coming uh, position. Oh, maybe yeah. this and the letter nine is this. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you if you can see the number six with the letter F. I was going to visit my own in New Zealand, but the she decided to move three, three times. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. He changed the play oh, wow. to the New Zealand to retain. Okay, so I was going to sell my car, but no one wanted to buy it, okay? I was going to ring you yesterday evening, but then there was a strike. <laughs> I have... Okay, so... In this. <laughs> leave it, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I was going to withdraw some money but I lost my bank card, yes. I was going to quit my job, but then I heard about the coming recession, yes. And I was going to buy a new high-tech watch, but then I saw the price of it, okay. I was going to visit my aunt in New Zealand, but then she decided to move to Britain, yes. I was going to take a bus, a bus to work for a change, but I didn't have any coins, okay? And I was going to watch the late movie last night, but then I fell asleep on the sofa. I was going to learn to play piano last year, but then I realized it was too difficult. I was going to speak to Angelo in Italian, but then I remember he speaks English well.
<ríe> ¿Cómo Pero. sería la que sobra? Es la dos, pero no <ríe> tiene sentido. Uh -huh. No. Ok. So, in this case, remove, uh, no, um, seven, put it like a part, yeah, from there. Eight as well. Uh -huh. Por de, ¿cómo se llama? De, o sea, tiene el sentido la dos con la the number two with the letter J. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. A number A as mm, but number A. Uh -huh. uh, no. <laughs> but I do have N. Ah, uh, maybe yes, but the end of I was going to watch the movie last night. Mm -hmm. Maybe number six. No, no. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh, number seven, I was going to take a bus to work for a change. It's like saying, iba a tomar el autobús para variar. Pero, ¿qué pasó? Mm -hmm. Una. Maybe this. Uh -huh. And number eight, but, but I didn't have any coins. Pero no tenía. Ajá, uh -huh, no. Uh -huh. Maybe number two y number eight. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's see. I was going to watch the late movie last night, last night, but then it's okay. I was going to ring you yesterday, but I didn't have any coins. Okay. And seven, I was going to take a bus to work for a change, but there was a strike. Yes. Mm, yes, but I didn't have any coins. It is like saying, no tenía crédito. Ok, mm. es como la interpretación que se le da al any coins. Aunque también puede tener relación con la número 7. Pero en este caso, eh, se interpreta como crédito, que no tenía crédito. Por eso es que no le puedo llamar. Ahora, en la número 7, um, que dice que iba a tomar el autobús para el trabajo, para variar, pero ¿qué pasó? Había un paro, había una marcha. O sea, de nada le sirvió. ¿Ok? Yes. All right. Bye. Muy bien. Ahora, vámonos a la okay. siguiente. Yes. She, uh, maybe she was going to arrive at 10, but the flight have a, ¿cómo se dice retraso? Retard. No, mm, <laughs> ah, no, but it, the it, flight it, is not on time. No, time. No, yes. no, pero hay otra opción para decir que no está a tiempo. Deliver. Deliver. Delay. 
No. Como dice Eh, el tablero del aeropuerto. esto me estoy tratando de acordar. Oh my gosh. Teacher, do you yes. remember um, in the in, in the table of tables uh, in the delay? Delay. De de en los tableros del aeropuerto, in the board court of the airports. When one flight is is not on time, how is the phrase or the name that receive the the planes or the flights that is not on time? Delay. Delay. Del delay. De de delay. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, she. But um, eso es como decir. Um, atrasado. Retrasar. O, o atrasado, o atrasado, pero un, un como una demora, si queremos decir demora o retraso, tenemos que decir del, delayment. Delayment. Si se quiere But, decir una demora. Delayment. But she Así. had a delayment. But she had a delayment. I ah, search for yeah. example. Ah. I search example for from the spotlight in the airport, and they say delayed. 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 Mm. But she had a delay. Delayed. But in this okay. case, uh, please help me to write uh, uh, by the correct way. Yes. The, But she had a delayed man. Oh, without T. Without. Without removed. I mean. Delayed. Okay. Remove M-E-N. Uh-huh. Add E-D. And remove a T. Uh, where you have at. Okay. But she had a delay. Uh -huh. Delayed. Okay. She was going to arrive at 11 o'clock, but she had a delay. Mm -hmm. Oh, but she, but the plane was, um, I don't know. The, the flight. Plane, uh -huh, or the flight was delayed. But um, yes, the flight was delayed. <laughs> but the flight was delayed. Fly is like that, or is it? Creo yes. que así es. Ajá. No, the flight. Ah, ok. The uh -huh. flight. Ajá. Uh -huh. Was delayed. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank uh -huh. you. Ok. And this one. This morning, hey. but we still in the afternoon. God, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What was that? I have a doubt with this part. Mm, but on number two, he, he were going to apply it. Mm, are you sure that is he were? Number two. Uh, was. Mm -hmm. Their persons. He was. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He was going to apply, but he got a new job. Okay, so without okay. it, remove it. It. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We were. Uh -huh. Remove was. I have a oh, confused way. with is er. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think it's the same pronouns. No. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. We were going to receive. Vaya. Y ahí le remueve la de porque no es pasado. Es baseball. Uh -huh. Let's see. The orden. But we receive oh. it in the afternoon. But we receive it. Póngale IT. Ajá, muy bien. Ahí va bien, ya. Bye. Excellent. What time is it? Uh -huh. ¿A qué hora llegará el... She... She was going to... She was going... She was going... You are going to, to arrive. Arrive in in the afternoon. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. At five o'clock, sorry. At five o'clock. No. No. In the afternoon, at five. Ah, uh, uh, no. In the, in the afternoon, five p.m. P.m. But. El otro es. But. 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 She, she lose the. Lost. But she <laughs> lost airplane. But she lost the flight. El vuelo. Uh -huh, flight. The flight. <laughs> the flight. Mm, okay. So, so este. She, she go crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. She loves the fly and arrive at 10 p.m. Maybe. No. Mm -mm. She was going at 5 p.m. But she lost. Her flight. Uh, right. Uh huh. Okay. More or less. Why did you postpone the meeting? Yeah, I was to, I was going to. Mm -hmm. I was going to going to a meeting. A meeting. I was no, going to a meeting. I want. I was going to propose a meeting. Because Because Ah uh, My car doesn't uh, work Ah, uh, porque <laughs> Podíamos poner ahí porque no. tenía otra reunión Because 
pero tendríamos que cambiar el I was. No. No exactly, you can use the same. I was going to postpone a meeting because I had another one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because I had, I had. I had uh -huh. uh -huh. another one. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. on number four, where you added she lost her flight, it should be flight. F L I G H T. F L I G H T. H T. Oh. H. L I H T. <laughs> no, okay, yeah. Carla. Remove Y. Remove Y. I G H T. Uh -huh. Her flight. Flight. Yes. Okay. Okay. Continue, please. Okay. Anna has in Anna has in college. Yes. Is in getting late. Mm. Maybe mm. Anna Anna was Anna was going mm -hmm. to fall yet, but uh, she Anna has to call it. Tenías yeah. se le acabó la batería. <laughs> Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Bueno, because. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ana was. 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 No, 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 está bien, sí. No. Was. Was. Going, was. Ana. Was. Ajá. Uh -huh. But. But. She. She have. Any problem with your cellular? She had a problem with she her had. phone. Uh -huh. Her phone. Problem. With a cellular. Her phone. Her, her, her phone. Her phone. I think any. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> What? Uh, how? Ish, ish, how ish. say? Uh, I don't have battery. No. But um. Low battery. Lost battery. Low. Okay. Low battery. But on number six, guys. On number six, it says, "Ana iba a llamar." Aún. Oh, sería wasen. Ana wasn't going to call. Wasn't going to call. Yes. But I have present with her phone. Uh -huh. With her phone battery? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Did you know who she Number is seven. interesting as you expect? Did you know who she is interesting as you expect? Is yeah, I was. I was. 
going to position position as interest interest But, but, but the job but. is the job is difficult. Pero no es. Puede decir, podemos poner. Pero no es como lo esperaba. But. But it was. It is. Or it was. What it wasn't. It wasn't. Waiting for. Waiting. Expecto. Waiting. Expect. 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 Waiting. Next. Did you reply? A mail message. Did you reply to mail message? Trying to maybe send or reply. Respondiste el mensaje de Marie. I was going to reply to message of Maria. I was going to reply to Maria. But I forgot. But, but I I don't have any time. In the past, ah, uh, eh, I didn't. I didn't. How? Any time. I didn't. Any time. Okay, let's see. I was going to position us. But it. <clears throat> Okay, but I but it wasn't what but it wasn't what 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 uh, I I waited expected uh, uh e and I said waiting for. Sí, but it wasn't what I expected. Correct. But in la primera oración que dice usted, I was going to position as interesting. Ahí está diciendo, yo iba a posicionar como interesante. Uh, <laughs> interesting position. Iba. Going to interesting. You have an interesting uh, position. Um, I was going to have an, 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 an. Yes. 
Interesting position, but it was uh -huh. muy bien. Ahora sí. Do you have any questions? Tiene preguntas hasta aquí. In the in the second the in the complement is uh, always in pass. No, not always. No siempre. ¿Por qué? Vale. Eh, por ejemplo, si se va a decir yo iba a aplicar, pero viajaré. Entonces, ella no es pasado. En la segunda oración, porque voy a, puedo decir, I was going to apply, but I will travel. Entonces, depende de su idea. No siempre va a ser pasado simple. Puede ser futuro, puede ser presente, puede ser presente continuo. Yo iba a aplicar, pero estoy trabajando en un lugar mejor. I was going to apply, but I'm working in a better place. Entonces, no siempre va a ser pasado, ¿sí? Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Depende de su idea. ¿Alguna otra duda? ¿No? Ok. No. Bueno. Entonces, vámonos para la sala principal. Ok, let's go. Okay. Yes, thank you. We are ready. Okay. So let's see. Team A, Carla Sofia, you are going to present the first part. And then Tony and your team. Eh, the second part, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. No. Don't worry, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in the number one, I we think I was going to sell my car uh, we connect with the no, letter H, but then I saw the price. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. But no one wanted to buy it. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And number two, I was going to ring you yesterday. To ring? To ring? To ring you yesterday evening. Uh, but I didn't have any coins. Okay. And I was going to withdraw some money, but I lost my bank card. Okay. Maori is one. Okay. Uh, Four and five. Uh -huh. Maurice? Yes, teacher. Number oh. four. I was yes. going. I was going to quit my job. Um, but I then I heard about the coming recession. Mm -hmm. Five. I was going to buy a new high stage watch. But I then I saw. The pride of it. Yes. And I the was going to visit my own in the New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. But I then she decided to move Britain. to Britain. To Britain, okay. Uh, uh, with the other, yes, continue, Maurice. Okay, okay. I was going to take a bus to work for a chain, but then there was a strike. A strike, okay. I was going to watch the light movie last night. But I then I feel asleep on the sofa. Mm -hmm. 
I was going to learn to play piano last year, mm -hmm. but I then realized it. Realize? Realize it was too difficult. Yes. I was going to speak to Angel, Angelo in Italian, but I then remember to speak English well. Okay. But then I remember he speaks English well. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Tell me. I'm going to show um, our work. Let me see. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Please, uh, Atilio, help me to read one, two, two, uh, the number two to number four. Uh, Luis Miguel, the number five to number seven. I am going to uh, read the number eight. Okay. Okay, please start with Miguel. Number one. Ah, la, sorry, Atili. Number two. Atili, okay. Did you apply for that job he was interested in? He was going to apply for that job, but the receipt arrived. Uh -huh. Received the order this morning. And we were going to receive the order, but the system had failed. 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 What mm -hmm. time will she arrive? She was going to arrive at 11, uh, but the film, film was delayed. Delayed, okay. Let me get, please. Why did you postpone the meeting? I was going to, to make the meeting, but I have an emergency. Okay. Anna hasn't called yet. Isn't, isn't it getting late? Mm -hmm. Anna was going to call me, but it, it is 3 p.m. Maybe she will call me in the evening. Very good. Uh -huh. Is your new position as interesting as you expected? I was going to put all my knowledge to the test, but I haven't only been on the job for a week. Okay. Did you reply to Mary message? I was going to reply the message, but I prefer to call her. Mm -hmm. In the observation teacher? Yes, I'm 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 looking into that, okay. Mm -hmm. This this uh, um sentence the word translator um make me an observation. I only um write I was going to reply the message, but um the um, the automatic corrector um suggests me to add to reply okay. to the message yes suggest that is good uh, it is good but there is something on that sentence that is not good so i was going to reply in this case reply without ed and we need to add y instead of i reply uh-huh. Because, uh -huh. because remember the verb goes in base form, not in simple past. Ah, okay. Yo, yo iba, ah, sí, porque ya lo tengo el was como el uh -huh. pasado. I was going to reply. And then is necessary to add to? Yes. Reply to the message. To the message. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. No observations, only that one. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, guys. So now let's move. Okay. And let's um take the listening. Okay. The listening quiz. 
that we have. We have two, two listening quizzes, okay? Um, let me get uh, the link for you. So, um, okay guys, there you go. That one is the, uh, the link for the listening quiz number one. Please open it. We only have two questions on that link as well. And we are going to follow the same dynamic that we have been following this week with the listening, okay? Let me see. Okay, let me know once you're ready so I can play this audio and please pay attention, okay? Pay attention, but I would recommend you to read the question, okay? Read the question and try to listen to the answer to that question, okay? So I will play it three times, three times. So here we go with the first time. The passcode is listening, okay? Listening capital letters, okay? Attention, all passengers traveling on the 4.30 p.m. westbound train to California. Because of unforeseen weather conditions, the departure time has been changed to 8.30 p.m. We here at MarTech Trains are deeply sorry for this inconvenience. We will be providing all ticket holders with a complimentary dinner in our lounge. Please bring your boarding pass and ID to the lounge to receive your meal. Once again, we are sorry for any inconvenience this may have caused you. Thank you for traveling on MarTech Trains. What caused the change in the schedule? Okay. The second time. Here we go. Attention, all passengers traveling on the 4.30 p.m. westbound train to California. Because of unforeseen weather conditions, the departure time has been changed to 8.30 p.m. We here at MarTech Trains are deeply sorry for this inconvenience. We will be providing all ticket holders with a complimentary dinner in our lounge. Please bring your boarding pass and ID to the lounge to receive your meal. Once again, we are sorry for any inconvenience this may have caused you. Thank you for traveling on MarTech Trains. What caused the change in the schedule? Okay, the last time. Attention, all passengers traveling on the 4.30 p.m. westbound train to California. Because of unforeseen weather conditions, the departure time has been changed to 8.30 p.m. We here at MarTech Trains are deeply sorry for this inconvenience. We will be providing all ticket holders with a complimentary dinner in our lounge. Please bring your boarding pass and ID to the lounge to receive your meal. Once again, we are sorry for any inconvenience this may have caused you. Thank you for traveling on MarTech Trains. What caused the change in the schedule? Okay, submit your answers. Okay. Um, I can see that this was easier than the other ones that we have been taking probably during this week. I see many hundreds. All right. Yes, it's so easy because the, the operator is too clearly to talk. Yes. And talk slowly. Uh -huh. yes. It's not usual in, in a train station when or in the airport because they talk very fast that is correct okay let's take the other one okay the last one for today oh no let me get it okay there you go that one pascal listening and let me know once you are ready so i can play this recording same thing guys listen to the 
um, read the question and try to listen to the answer, okay? All right, let me know once you are ready so I can play it. I'm going to play it three times. It is short, this one is very short, it's not long. Okay, here we go. Steve, you'd better tell the driver to start off for the airport now. I was just listening to the broadcast and traffic on the airport road is pretty bad today. The other things can wait. We don't want to make the same mistake as we did when Mrs. Winchester came. I was so embarrassed when she came in a taxi. What's the traffic like? Okay, the second time. Steve, you'd better tell the driver to start off for the airport now. I was just listening to the broadcast and traffic on the airport road is pretty bad today. The other things can wait. We don't want to make the same mistake as we did when Mrs. Winchester came. I was so embarrassed when she came in a taxi. What's the traffic like? Okay, the last time. Steve, you'd better tell the driver to start off for the airport now. I was just listening to the broadcast and traffic on the airport road is pretty bad today. The other things can wait. We don't want to make the same mistake as we did when Mrs. Winchester came. I was so embarrassed when she came in a taxi. What's the traffic like? Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, guys, let me see your scores on this one. It's difficult. This was, yes, this was more difficult than the previous one. That is true. Let me see. Okay. But even though it was kind of difficult, I can see that many of you got 100, okay? And the first test teacher, I felt because I listened, the, the holders need to ID, but mm -hmm. uh, in a few men, a few seconds uh, before they say they, they have a free meal for the but Yes, that is. But the but the, the the passenger need to present sell his ID or train's ID. Correct. Yes, that is true. Okay, so I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, right now the attendance, guys. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Same teacher. Thank you, Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Present. Thank you, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Teacher. Thank you. Yes, guys, it's raining again. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza Castillo. Jonathan José González Domínguez. Thank you. Present, Miss. Thank you. George Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia. Nelly Livet Andrade. Present. Eh, thank you, Raúl Antonio Jortán Miranda. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Yes, I haven't seen Sandra. Wendy Marisela Ramirez Guevara. No, she's not here. Okay, so we are going to start with a speaking and we are going to practice this for around 15 minutes. Okay, guys? For today's speaking conversation time, in this case, we have the following. Okay, look at this, guys. 
those questions, the first questions are for you to think. Yes, it says, your university is going to give out a scholarship of $5,000. Who do you think should receive the scholarship? A students with high academic, academic performance or a students who need financial aids? Who? Explain your response with details and examples. And you can use vocabulary. A scholarship, which is beca. A skills, you know what that is. Attitude, you know what that is and aptitude, you know what that is, right? So in this case, I need to please support your opinion on this one. You need to choose, yeah? Then you move to those. Why we should not judge a book by its cover? This is a question with an idiom, yes? ¿Por qué no hay que juzgar a las personas por la apariencia? That is the meaning of this. Judge a book by its cover. Mention something you should cut down on. What is the meaning of cut down on? Reduce. Mention something you need to increase doing. Tony. Teacher, in this case, it's by the number one. Yeah. Um, you are talking about the book or the person? The person. The person. Okay, this is a, a paraphrasal verb and a paraphrasal phrase. Oh, this is an idiom. Una, una expresión idiomática. Okay. Ah, sí, porque traducido literal es mm -hmm. no comparar o, o no juzgar a un libro por su portada. Porta. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Pero aquí estamos hablando, when, uh, when I understand that I'm talking about an idiom or talking about literality that the phrase or, or that the sentence says. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case, um, it will be depending on the context, right? Because I understand the point where we can get confused, right? Whenever we say, hey, why we should not judge a book by its cover? We can interpret that like literal, like if we were talking about a book, right? Mm -hmm. What but number is, of the book? Uh -huh. But in this case, uh -huh, I'm going to give you the context, right? But right now we are like studying this expression to judge people. Okay. okay. Uh, just the context will tell you, right? And the conversation with the other person. Uh -huh. All right. Very good, guys. Let's practice for a while and then we are going to come back because we are done with our class. Okay. Your university is going to give out a scholarship of five million dollars. Who do you think? Five thousand? Thousand dollars. <laughs> Carl. Numbers. Mmm. I my memory is, is short. <laughs> short term. No, Carl. Oh. That's not possible. <laughs> okay. Who do you think should receive to scholars student by coming performance? Yeah. 
scholarships a uh, beca? No. Yes. Yes. Uh, who do you think should recite the scholarship a student with a high academic performance? Or I or think. Yeah. I what think, do you think? Uh, I prefer to students who need finance, financial aids. Oh, okay. But uh, they they will go to a school high. What is it? High academics. High, high uh, academics for us, okay. Mm -hmm. Or uh, any attitude or for sports, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because you sleep, you was asleep in, in some in some. You class. were. Ah, you were asleep <laughs> yeah. in, in in many classes. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Only, only one. <laughs> okay, your work was very hard this week, Nelly. Yeah. I understand you. Yeah. But Yesterday today is Friday. Yes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yesterday I, ha I had in my sleep um, science uh, six in the morning, uh, Wednesday at six in the morning. Nelly. When how, how many years take you finish the bachelor? Five. Five years, okay. Yes. Five, Five years. Long. Can you repeat? Please? Why is so long? Um, I don't know. Every I think that every uh, bachelor's degree is is um different about five. Five years, yes. Uh plus one year for um from work or thesis. Como como eh, como lo que hacen los los médicos como un internado. Yes. Yeah. But the, I, uh, Emerson. But if we start thinking about the results in general. It's would uh, those with high performance who would have the priority to obtain a scholarship. Mm -hmm. After that, those of the social benefit will be taken into the account. Mm -hmm. In my case, uh, always... perdón, 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 perdón. Sigue. Go, go. No, 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 sigue, sigue, sigue. In, in, in general, all university required a uh, uh, high performance for or give you a uh, scholarship. Always. Yeah. I I explain in my student life. I I did I I recite and the scholarship in in the UCA, but. The institution I in this I in investigó me investigó todos los exámenes todo de todo para yo mantener la beca 
<laughs> oh my God, really, Maurice? Yeah, yeah. 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 So sad. Siente... <laughs> no se siente bien uno aquí. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, but this morning I industrial engineer. Well. Yes, of course, right? Excellent. Okay. Perfect. All right, continue, guys. Yeah. Oh. Next. And why we should know use a book by its cover? Why should because it's necessary uh, knowledge? No. Knowledge the person? Mm -hmm. To know the person? Uh, because it's necessary to know the person. Mm -hmm. Maybe conversation or a pastime with the person for For or for we can uh, have an idea, idea, idea? Mm -hmm. have an idea. Who is the person? Who is the person? Okay. Most why we should know use a book, right? It's cover. Um, finish card. And for me, I think that we should meet the person. Um, for me. And you are not. Well, I think it's a bad idea. You can, a person with don't know it because um, the people needed the opportunity to be herself. And after that, we choose if the person is good or bad. Yeah. Okay. Next, Carla. Mention something you should put that on. Uh, what's the meaning? Aha, <laughs> 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 uh -huh. mention something you should put down on. Que debe de reducir. Oh, drink less coca. Yes, drink. Oh, drink no. less coca. Put down stress. No, drink. Uh, soda. Put, uh, put down drink soda. Say uh, maybe. Put no. down <laughs> on drinking soda. Put down on drinking soda. Oh my God, Carl. but do you drink water? <laughs> yes. 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 Uh -huh. and, uh, in these days, I have uh, drink many drunk, uh, much, uh, much water. A lot of water. A lot of water. <laughs> because yes, Carla, cold. because that is important. Okay. But drink soda. <laughs> but drunk soda. <laughs> but, oh. uh -huh, okay, it's okay. Uh, All right. In my case, I... I... Uh, a children uh, put down the horchata. Oh, really? Yeah, because I in in Sunday I drink mm, 
do Dnipro? Um, yes. Two leader only son died. Okay. Only only for me. Oh my god. You love or chat? Yeah. Okay. Of course. <laughs> okay, Maris. You love or chat, okay. And you Emerson, something that you should cut down on? Maybe the pastries. <gasps> really? <laughs> I like the pastries a lot. Okay. So yes, you the should special put... uh, las peperechas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, with coffee, Emerson. Yes, with coffee. Really? Like... Okay. Yes. yes. I know. Okay, and what is something that you need to increase doing? More I need to Sorry. Repeat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make uh, do exercise. Doing exercise. Okay. And you, Carla? I need to increase. Increase. I need to incre increase exercise. <laughs> exercise as well. Oh my God. Okay. And Maris, and you? Uh, for me, I need increase. Uh, more time, but uh, study English. Okay. Oh, damn. Me okay. too. <laughs> yes. But I try. I try it. Uh, listen a podcast. In, listen in to podcast. Listen to podcast in Spotify, but mm -hmm. in two minutes. Two minutes, I fall asleep. <laughs> oh my God, Carla, come on. Maybe it's not interesting. <laughs> but uh, I think it's a... Uh, it's good uh, because I, I understand, I understand the podcast mm -hmm. is the slow pronunciation mm -hmm. okay <laughs> well <laughs> that's the the best part if you understand the podcast but you shouldn't fall asleep uh -huh. <laughs> okay, you shouldn't uh -huh, fall asleep but okay all right i did uh, uh here in the in the job yes i repeat the podcast in the job okay but you listen to it yes 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 <laughs> all right okay guys just because of the time let's go to the main room okay let's go back Okay, so Carla, can you please mention something that you need to uh, cut down on? I need to cut down on drink soda. Drinking soda. Drinking okay. soda. Yes. Drinking soda. Mm -hmm. Maurice, what about you? Mention something you should cut down on. Oh, you are on mute, Maurice. Let's put the microphone. Uh, I just cook, cook down uh, the orchata. Orchata. Oh my God. Okay. All right. And Nelly, can you please mention something that you should cook down on? You should cook down on. Uh -huh. um, uh, what is the meaning, but what is the meaning, guys? Of sh uh, mm -hmm. cut down on 
Reducir. Reducir. Reduce, Nelly. Mention something you should cut down. Um, maybe the the lay labor uh, or work hours. The, the working okay. hours. Yes, the working hours. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll be right, Tony. Yes. Yes, I I have one thing that I need to shoot cut down on my belly. <laughs> oh. okay, so. <laughs> Come on, so you need to do an exercise, right? <laughs> All right. It's more difficult than that. That that do the you think? But okay, this mm -hmm. is another way. But well. uh, yes, okay, okay, Tony. Thank you. All right. So, guys, um, just because of the time, we're going to stop right here. Thank you very much for connecting today. Um, just don't forget to work on the platform, the ones that probably uh, have not finished, okay? So thank you very much for connecting today. I'll see you back on Monday, which is going to be our last class, okay? So have a good okay. night, take care, and enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Bye. 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 Good Bye. night, guys. Rest. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Absolutely. Okay, all right. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night.